Hello everybody, Grace Steelblaze, and we're back with more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, or UEBS. Anyone else call it that? Am I the only one that calls it that? I don't know. Anyway, you guys have had some more suggestions. I keep getting put Chuck Norris against Chuck Norris. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but Chuck Norris cannot die. That is how accurate this battle simulator is. It is completely and totally accurate. As we all know, Chuck Norris is in fact immortal, and in the game, he, he is also immortal. But... Someone seemed to believe that if you put Chuck Norris against Chuck Norris, he will kill himself. I don't, is that, is that even possible? I, I don't know. There's some other things you guys asked about, including the Grim Reaper against the Grim Reaper. I am very curious about that because what'll happen? Will it just, I mean, no one will ever win, right? Unless one side somehow manages to get some lucky hits and turn all the other side onto their side. Would that battle go on forever? Be some sort of weird paradoxical battle be like grim reperception or something i don't know let's do the chuck norris thing and here we are the dusty winds blow in the background of the sandy city of the city of the lost crusades as chuck norris faces off against chuck norris look at them staring at each other intently look at those eyes those are the eyes of a man who has seen death and stared it in the face and then kicked it in the balls. Let's do this! Here they go. They're very, very slow. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Chuck No- <laughs> <clears throat> Error. Chuck Norris cannot fight Chuck Norris. Float value beyond infinity. Override of time space continuum failed. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> well done, Dev. Well done. <laughs> we broke the space time continuum, guys. Oh, shit. Okay, so. You guys wanted to see Chuck Norris versus Chuck Norris. I don't know if you if you if you folks knew that would happen or what. That was good though. You got me. Okay, so you guys wanted what essentially I'll, I'll call glass Spartans versus glass orcs. These are Spartans with their normal stats, but they only have one hit point, and then orcs with normal stats, but they only have one hit point. So I'm gonna put a thousand against a thousand. Some other people had commented on this match before I did it, obviously. And believe that the Spartans would win because they have the superior range of the spears. And they seem to believe that there is, in fact, range in this game. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you notice, now some units, it's like their spacing is different. But the Spartans and the Orcs went to the same school of ass whippery. So their uh, unit sizes are like exactly the same. This should be pretty interesting, boys. Hold on, let me get right down the middle here so we can like legitimately look at that. It's like looking into a mirror, only slightly uglier on this side. Well, I guess it depends on whether or not you're an orc. Well, anyway, let's get it on. Here we go. Oh, Lord in heaven. You guys were right. Look at it. It's the, it's the Spartan stab. They legitimately do it. See how they huck those spears out right there? And they are absolutely decimating the orcs. Decimating. It is not even a competition. It. Wow. Whoa, oh God. Jesus. Lord in heaven. The Glass Spartans win, and not by a little bit either. Only 98 Spartans died compared to 1,000 Glass Orcs. So the Spartans are legit, man. They have some of the biggest, longest attacks. Well, actually, this brings. This begs a question now. What about the regular spearmen? What happens if we put those guys at one hit point as well? Okay, oddly the spearmen cannot be modified. I'm not I'm not sure why. Maybe they're just maybe they just they just refuse to accept genetic modifications. I don't know, but they can't be modified. I think if I remember correctly, they had like 100 hit points. Was it 150? The Spartans do 120 hit points of damage. So, oh look at how different. Hold on a second. Look at how different this this unit cluster is. Um I mean, should I keep it like that? I feel like I, sh like I should keep it like that because that keeps the fronts roughly the same. Um, let's move the Spartans back a little bit. 
And then we'll move these guys right about there. Very Christmas oriented. I, I just realized how festive these matchups are. Red and green, baby. All right, let's freaking do this. So we're going to have 1,000 of the Glass Spartans against 1,000 regular spearmen. And I'm very curious if the spears of the spearmen can handle the training of the Spartan Warriors. Someone had commented, oh, the Spartans have the uphill advantage. Um, well, maybe it's not legit. Who knows? Let's freaking do this. Here we go. And, oh, it's a little bit closer than the orcs. It's a little bit closer than the orcs. Hold on. The Spartans still seem to definitely have a clear advantage. Let's get down here and look at these, this exchange. Look at how much longer the spear of the spearman is, but it just looks like the Spartans almost attack faster or they, or they parry better or something. I'm not really sure, but this is a much closer battle. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's find out exactly how many hit points they have. Ah, they only have 100 hit points. So the Spartans do 120. These guys only have 100. So unless like armor or something is in the game, and I, I don't know 100% if it is, that means that the Spartans should kill these guys in one hit. I'm trying to like watch. Like that guy looked like he took one hit and he died. But there is blood and arterial spray littering the countryside tonight as bare-chested Spartans fall to the ground. Yes, look at that defense right there. Look at him. He's got his shield up. Nice. A snipe right there in the chicklets. And finally, the Glass Spartans have won, but not before taking significant casualties. Damn. 757, man. So the Spearmen did substantially better than the Orcs. All right. Grim Reaper versus Grim Reaper. Can death outsmart death? I have no idea. Let's find out. I put 10,000 on each side just because the the... The spread is always cooler when there's more units, but I just thought to myself, these guys are going to be identical, aren't they? It's not like one set of zombies is going to be different colored than the other set of zombies. Actually, let's go ahead and take cinematic mode off for this just for a little bit. We'll go ahead and start the battle. Now, we're going to have to... Well, actually, not having cinematic mode on is pointless. Hold on, let's see here. Ah, look, I knew it. One side starting to gain momentum. Look, oh, oh, but now the other side's gaining momentum. <laughs> Now the other side's gaining momentum. Uh, 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 oh, 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 starting to swing back. It's starting to swing back. Oh, it's the fight that never ends. This is legitimately a fight that never ends. They're just gonna... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Every time they die, every time they die, don't they create bodies? Don't they create corpses? So, does this mean... That we're creating a mountain of corpses? Oh, are they raising up on the corpses? Oh, the frame rate. Oh, the frame rate's starting to drop, boys. Oh, what have you done to me? What have you done to me? Let's look at the bodies. Oh, look at how many bodies there are. The bodies do raise up. Oh, this is insane. Hold on. Uh, okay, so no one's ever gonna win. Oh, I hate to do this to my computer. I'm going to leave this goat for a few minutes and we'll come back in a little bit and see what happens to the corpses. I'm going to turn around for this. Well, boys, it's 3 p.m. the next day. The FPS has tanked to one frame per second, which we totally expected. One side is like slightly winning. But look at this weirdness. We have created an infinite corpse mound. This could... If I allowed it to go all night... Oh, it's so deep! That sounded terrible. If I allowed this to... I wonder if we could reach the sky. Oh, I just don't have that level of patience. But what a pain in the balls! Alright, that's enough Grim Reaper versus Grim Reaper action. Okay, so one of you guys asked for something really strange. You said, could you give a guy negative damage? Uh, I guess you can. It, it completely allowed me to do this. I have this guy here. He's called the Sad Footman. He does negative 33 damage. I, I don't know what this is going to do. Um, I mean, let's, let's like, give him a bunch of attack speed. The only reason why is because, like, if he never, like, if he never does any damage, I won't know if he's doing anything or not. So I'm going to allow him to attack, like, a million times a shot. This way we can find out if he legitimately does anything. You guys come up with the weirdest shit. Um... Let's do, uh, let's do our classic thousand versus thousand over here. But the regular footmen that don't have sadness and destitution in their lives against, yes, 
The Sad Footman. There we go. Sad Footman, regular Footman, over here on the side. What's going to happen? I don't know. Are there attacks going to heal people? Wouldn't that be a terrible thing? You're trying to be a warrior in life and serve the, the country and your, and your fellow men. But every time you strike someone down, they just get healthier. Like, with a swing of your sword, you cure diabetes or something. Okay, so I don't... Oh, crap. I forgot who's who. Uh, no, let's not worry about it. Let's just get this thing going here. All right, here we go. So, sad footman versus regular footman. Oh, one person died. Ah, they do legitimately no damage. Okay, very interesting. Look at how fast they attack the hold on here. Well, oh, let me grab this guy. Let me grab this guy. You they don't even really have like an attack animation. Oh, this is a regular footman. Is it? Whoa. Oh, their health is going up. They heal. It actually heals people. Holy crap. They've got 30 they got 40,000 health. Look at this. 50,000 50,000 health. 51,000 health. We found healing units in the game. Yes. All right, well, that's interesting. So, yeah. So, instead of sad footmen, I should call these guys, like, paladins or something. They're like holy warriors. They can use the power of, I don't know, inverse war to heal people. That battle just made me think about something. If that's the way it works, it would be very easy to add a healing unit into this game. The only thing is, is that you'd want it to attack your own guys. So, you'd either have to put it on a different team, but the problem is you you wouldn't always be sure who it would attack. Um, because sometimes it might attack Team 1, and sometimes it might attack Team 2, for instance. So, but if the developer ever wanted to make a healer, maybe have like an AoE healer or something like that. You know, something small. Maybe like one of the orc attacks or something like that. Or like, uh, like Chuck Norris's punch or something. It could very easily be done. Alright, so healing units in the game. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Oh, and also... If you guys didn't see, the developer has been lingering around in the comments section. He commented the last time. I can't remember if I said that or not. If I said that already, I apologize for repeating myself. But anyway, he commented on the last video. So maybe if you guys make suggestions, he will uh, hear your pleas. Okay, so the last time you guys had me do something. You had me do the times 10 footman king, who is a normal footman, but with times 10 everything, against 10 regular footmen. And we found out that, in fact, the times 10 footman king was vastly superior. So you mentioned, what happens if you put the times 10 footman king against 100 footmen? Can the, can the sum of 100 footmen come up to the power of 1 times 10 footman? Kind of curious about this. Um, my money is going to go on the side of... Hmm... You know what? I'm gonna go with the num I'm gonna go with the single guy. I'm gonna go with the one foot man king. Let's see if he freaking does it. Here we go. And he goes. Two, three, four, five. It all depends on how much he gets surrounded. That's what's really gonna matter. 13, 14, 15, 17, 18. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Saw through him. Saw through No, the footmen are victorious. So one times ten footman king is worth about 26 footmen. Very interesting. Alright. You wanted one Grim Reaper against 25,000 Heavy Knights and one super fully automatic Catapult. I don't think that the Knights and the Catapult have a shot in here. Because the problem is, is every time the Grim Reaper kills someone, it spawns a Grim Reaper. So what you end up with is 25,000 Grim Reapers against the Heavy Catapult. Or the full auto Catapult. I think what we'll do... Is we'll do this real fast, they're, they're gonna lose. The Heavy Knights and the Catapult are gonna lose. I just know they are. But what I, what we'll do is we'll give the- Oh my god. We'll give the, uh, the Grim Reaper, like, one hit- Well, not one hit point, because we want him to at least, like, turn a few people. Maybe we'll only give him, like, a thousand hit points or something like that. But watch, watch what happens here. I'll, I'll give you guys a good idea. Here we go. The Grim Reaper is about to have a freaking feast. Look at this. There come the fully automatic catapult balls. Now, I've got it turned up to like 99,000 bajillion. Oh, wow. That is that. The Grim Reapers are victorious. I'm actually curious if the, the catapults spawn a zombie. <laughs> I, uh, I, I imagine they do since like, since like, 
turtles spawn zombies? I would imagine the catapults do as well. All right, let's give the Grim Reaper a little bit less health. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Now the Grim Reaper only has 200 health. So this should make things a little bit more appropriate. What I mean by that is at least he's killable now. Um, I think it's still probably too much health. He probably needs one because he moves super fast. Like he's gonna, he's gonna freaking cause the infection to happen like almost instantaneously. But here we go. Here we go. All right. So the infection has begun. It, it is spreading badly. Um, the heavy knights are killing people. Like people are dead. No, nope, there's no way. There's no way. They just got overrun. Where are there still some knights left? I don't even know where they are. There we go. The Grim Reapers win. 80 enemies killed. All right. And to finish things off, you wanted super penguins against super tortoises. Oh, crap. We have the penguin lord. That's not what we want. We want regular super penguins. The reason we can't use the penguin lord is because he has, like, a ton of hit points as well. And the super tortoises just, like, attack super fast and move super fast. And then the super penguins just attack super fast and move super fast. So that's a much more uh, appropriate battle. The, the, the super penguin or the, the ultimate penguin lord. I don't even remember what the hell I'm calling my, my units anymore. The penguin lord would beat their ass though. So we can't do that. Oh no. Look at this boys. Ah, it's the nipple of the sands again. Over here, many penguins have taken the high ground on the nipple of the sands. We've got 10,000 penguins against 5,000 tortoises because the tortoises have substantially more hit points. Let's find out who's going to take this home, baby. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, the tortoises. Holy Jesus. The tortoises are absolute monsters. Hold on. Let's get down here. Oh, wow. Oh, the, the blood. We're going to be bathing in the, in the sweet ritualistic blood spatter of penguins tonight baby that's the last march of the penguins these emperor penguins are emperors no more now they're sad surf like subjects of the vastly superior tortoises oh wow this isn't even close it's not even close look at it it's like the tide coming in look it's like the water kissing the sand and the last penguin falls 688 tortoises met their end compared to almost 10,000 of the penguins. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and grab this tortoise and do a little uh, dance, a little jig of victory over here. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for some of those suggestions. The healing creature, the, the paladin that we created was freaking awesome. That's so cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Remember, the game comes out April 12th, which should be today as you're watching this. So if you want to check it out, feel free. The link is in the description below. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.